Well, what an incredibly exciting week. Oh, f The weather got all, you know, weathery, with all the wind and the rain and the destruction. <laughs> You weren't worried about anything minor like drowning? Ah, uh, I thought I'd be alright, eh? And then of course there was the snow, which is always a bit of a mixed blessing. I had to have school, and then it snowed, so I can't go to school. In politics, change is the only constant, and so we see Peter Dunn out on his own. Honourable Peter Dunn will be treated as an independent member for parliamentary purposes. The Prime Minister responds to the growing list of those speaking out against the GCSB bill. Because, you know, bombings? If one day there was the equivalent of the Boston bombings in New Zealand, would they be the very same members that would stand up and say they prevented New Zealanders being kept safer than they otherwise could be? No, they wouldn't. They'd run for the hills. I don't know what's more worrying, the fact that this week's best comment on democracy comes from the mongrel mob. There's people that don't care, but, you know, if you vote counts, I say. All the news Aaron Gilmore might be back again with a run for Christchurch East. <laughs> well, you know, we'll use it. <coughs> I don't think it's likely he'll win. Or not. Overseas, everyone gets excited as this guy tiptoes across the Grand Canyon. Well, almost everyone. Apparently, it wasn't grand enough for some. An area known as the Little Grand Canyon. Meanwhile, David Beckham causes almost as much excitement in China simply by showing up. But as another child falls from a building there, maybe next time they should send a goalie. <laughs> to the UK, this old duck gets very excited indeed, and who can blame her? She's just learnt with the right combination of buttons, she can get her washing machine to play God Save the Queen. Have you ever seen her so happy? Finally this week, it's the F-Bomb Awards. Runner-up goes to our friend Phil. For <laughs> sake. But the trophy and a bar of soap to wash that mouth out goes to this young lady. me, I can't even f***ing talk.